morning. So nice to see you all. Okay. When I was a little girl, I was probably around seven years old. No, is anybody seven? How old are you? Five? Okay, so I was about seven years old and my mama got sick. <laughs> Are you? Okay. I was just, you're two. Oh, you're a big boy. Well, um, I was probably around seven, so a little bit older than you, and probably a lot younger than you. But um, my mama got sick. She got cancer. And the doctors did everything that they knew to try to help her get well. But she didn't get well. She just kept being sick. And uh, <clears throat> after a few years, she wasn't able to work anymore. And she had to stay in bed longer and longer. And you know all those things that your mamas do, like cook, clean, stuff like that, dust. Well, my mama couldn't do that stuff anymore. <clears throat> so since I was the only girl, guess who got to do it? Me. So, I, my cooking probably left something to be desired, and I did not like to clean. Do you like to clean? Do you like to clean? Do you like to dust? Do you? Oh, you can come live with me. I didn't like to dust then, and I don't like to dust now. I hated it, really. So, anyway, one day, and I must have been probably 11 by this time, I was in my parents' room, and I was dusting the desk. Dusting, dusting, dusting. And I looked over at my mother, and she was laying in her bed so sick. And I looked at her, and I said, why don't you dust? And she looked at me, and she said, if I could, I would. Well, I felt a little bit bad, not a lot bad. I felt a little bit bad about that. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't even tell her I was sorry. But th those weren't nice words, were they? That wasn't nice at all, what came out of my mouth to my mother, who was so sick. And how sad she must have felt that day. So, why did I say that to her? Huh? Why did I say that to her? Why was my mama sick? Why did she have cancer? You know, I didn't understand. So, it was probably uh, it was about a year after that when I a year after I said those hurtful words to her that my mama died. She was just too sick, and the doctors couldn't help her get better again. <clears throat> and then I felt so bad that my mama died. And I didn't understand why she was so sick, and why she had to die and leave me with three brothers and my dad. It wasn't fair. So again, why did my mama die? Why do people get sick? Why do people have cancer? Why do people say hurtful things to someone that they love? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this world is sinful, okay? This world is sinful because of who? Because of Satan, right? We're all sinful. We're all born into this world sinful. We all have bad thoughts. We all say things that are unkind. We all do things that are hurtful to somebody. And some, and it's just, um, you know what it is? Jesus is coming soon. And Satan is working so hard to keep our eyes away from Jesus that he gives us all of this stuff and more and more and more hurtful things happen to us in this world because Satan wants to take our eyes off of Jesus
and focus on all these horrible things that are happening in our lives. But you know what? Jesus doesn't want us to do that. Because he came to this earth and he died on the cross. He lived a perfect life. We don't live a perfect life, but Jesus lives a perfect, lived a perfect life and he died so that we can be forgiven. Our sins are forgiven. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. And then he gives us hope, he gives us heaven and joy and everything in our hearts. And I'm still a sinful person. We all are. But I have Jesus and I have hope. And I love Jesus. And I want to go home to heaven with him when he comes. And um, I still don't understand why my mama got sick. But I tell you what, I got a new mama. And I've had her for 45 years, going on 46. And so she's, she is, she's my blessing mama. She's my gift that Jesus gave to me. And so um, just remember that because Jesus loves you just the way you are. There's nothing good or bad you can do that's going to make him love you any more or any less. So give your heart to Jesus. Ask him to forgive you your sins. And he's going to help you grow and become the people that he wants you to be. Okay? Amen. Uh, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for coming to this earth and living here and dying on the cross for us. Thank you for loving us just the way that we are. Thank you for forgiving us our sins and helping us to grow and become more and more like you every day. And we just want you to come soon. We love you and be with each child here today. Bless them and help them through their lives to draw them close to you. And bless each one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.